So, it's a couple of hours later, and I just want to give you an update on the resin that I was trying in my last video. So, you see, let me see if I can show you real quick. There's like some, oh! Okay, I can fix that, <laughs> but what I was trying to say was there are some indentions like in this area over here. hard to show you see up there there's some more indentions and so now that the epoxy is like really sticky I'm gonna go ahead and fix those areas so let's do this Did you guys, did you guys just see that? A whole bubble just came out the resin. That's the first time that has ever happened to me. What in the world? Well, I don't know about that. So it is currently looks like 12:30. So what I did was about 30 minutes ago, well, almost an hour ago, I spray painted this tray. And now I have an idea. Do I think it's gonna turn out? I have no idea. I hope it turns out. Then I want to do like a a cow print, but like. I don't know, I'm kind of skeptical about it, but it's okay if it doesn't turn out because I can always just spray paint over it. So what I'm going to do is, this is going to be the cow print, and then I'm going to spray paint it white, but before I spray paint it white, I'm going to put some of this dawn soap in shape of um, cow print, and then I'm going to spray paint over it. And then I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit, and then I will wash it off and see how it happens. So hopefully this works, but like I said, if it doesn't, it's also okay. So let's get into it. So as far as the soap technique that I did, whenever I put on the white, you're supposed to rinse it off, but whenever I rinse it off, I don't know, it may have been my error or it may have been just the um, spray paint that I use. Maybe I need to use a different type of spray paint. I did get that spray paint from Michaels. But as far as it, if you can see in certain areas, you can still see the color underneath, but for the most part, it did keep the areas that I wanted to keep that color. It did keep it that way, but in certain spots, you'll see there's like little white specks inside of those, so maybe I didn't put enough soap. But I do like it if I recommend. I don't really know because now I'm going to have to go over this and touch up on it and fix it when I could have just painted it all white and came back and just made the blobs. What I do like is that I was able to create a gradient with the soap and since I did the lines vertically, 
like that, you do sort of see the like similar colors, like you can tell that they're in rows, if that makes sense. And I just outlined it with Sharpie, I outlined it black with a Sharpie, but yeah, so I feel like if you want to use it, you can use it, just be wary of maybe what color spray paint or how much spray paint you're putting onto it, and I think that's it, because it did turn out, like it did do what it was supposed to do, but some areas are just a little more problematic than others. But besides that, it does look like a cow print to me, right? Don't it look like it? I'm thinking about next time doing maybe like one solid color to see if it will look better like that. I just wanted to try gradient to see how the gradient will look. But the gradient isn't that bad. But I think next time, I'll, instead of doing rows like that, I'll just like randomly paint so I can get variation in the color. But if not, I'll just stick to one solid color, so I will try this again, and I will let you guys know, whenever I do try it, I'll let you know how it looks. Yeah. So, as far, <coughs> so, as far as this resin goes, the... East Coast resin looks like this from Amazon. It is actually really nice. This is how this one looks like after eight hours. Of course, this is before me sanding it down and all that, but it's pretty solid. Which usually the one that I use is the Amazing Cast. And usually, I like to wait a full 24 hours before I even attempt to touch it. But this one. It's flexible right now, which is good because if you want to make those freehand bowls, if I find a picture, I'll put it over here. If not, you can probably find them on people's Instagrams and stuff. But it'll be easier to make those with this one. Way, like, really easy. So, I actually really do like this. The working time, it's not, you don't have as much working time as you did with the... Um, with the jewelry resin, but that's because this one is a thicker consistency to begin with. This is more like the amazing one, so I do recommend this one. If you're a really slow worker when it comes to resin, then I would or then I would recommend the jewelry resin. But if you're just starting off, I think the amazing brand is a pretty good starting off brand, or you can even try this one for starters because I think it's really good. Like out of all the resins that I have tried so far, I think those two are the the best. So yeah. Um I'm gonna wait a full twenty four hours before I check on the summer thing. Summer one. But it looks really nice. There's no holes looks like an even layer. I did have to do a second layer, but it looks like it's set, and the uh, sign is made out of wood, so now you know what I do recommend is to, if you're painting on wood or if you're going to apply epoxy on the wood, you want to do a layer of Mod Podge first so the wood doesn't soak up the resin, but besides that, I think you can do it on wood, and I heard some people say you can do it on on glass and stuff, but I've never tried it. So don't quote me. I know there's you can find other things on Amazon for those type of things if you really wanted to do glass or anything. But, yeah. I do have an Instagram dedicated to all my resin projects. I'll have it down here. And then you can follow if you like.
This is how the necklace is looking. I actually really like it. You can really, in the sun, I'm sure, because in the light you can see a little bit of blue, but I'm sure that in the sun, it would be so beautiful. You, uh, you can't really tell. I mean, eh. Eh, a little bit, right? But yeah. So in the next video, because tomorrow I have a very busy day, so I'm going to do a vlog and then I'm going to show you how. I'll show you how that turned out. But for this video, this is going to be it most likely. So I hope you like, comment, share. With your friends, comment down below what you want to see next. If there's any specific resin that you want me to try, or if this, if there's anything in particular that you want me to try, because I do want to branch out to other things like makeup, nails, you know, clothes. I do want to branch out to those things as well. I just don't want to do resin like by itself. So just let me know what you want to see next and. Thank you very much. This is how the message is looking. Oh.